All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Wahawa Kakwadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Uh, Yahweh Shah is from the world, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And uh, Rakak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. Uh, I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, who teach and rule well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the Akim out there that push his word in our truth and in our sincerity. Now, I'm going to do another uh, GMS scripture today. And we're going to go through uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the uh, first chapter. And it's a heavy chapter, okay? And uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 1. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart seek Him. So love righteousness. Now what's righteousness? The law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father has put in place. That's righteousness, so love that. All right. If you want to be a judge of the earth. All right, and that's what the Lord is uh, uh, building up right now, okay? He's building up the uh, house of David. All right, he's the uh, 144,000, the elect. They're uh, getting sealed. And they're the uh, uh, future uh, uh, judges of this world, okay? And Lord willing, we're a part of that. Think of the Lord with a good heart and in simplicity of heart seek Him. And that's a, a major thing, uh, a thing. Seek the Lord, okay, in, in simplicity. All right, when you when you first got into this truth, okay, you really, what you know, just think about it. When you first uh, got into this truth, what did you uh, uh, um, seek? You 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 wanted uh, 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 to repent, okay? You were seeking salvation, and you just wanted to do what was uh, uh, commanded. Uh, 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 you wanted to follow what was. Uh, um, what the Lord commanded you to do, okay? You know, but you got guys out there that tell you things like that. It is not right. You got to go ten deep. You got to go above and beyond with, with this uh, wisdom, okay? And then and that's going off. It tells you in Sirach uh, uh, to 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 seek not the things that are above thee, okay? So you know, just uh, seek the Lord in simplicity. And it's very easy to, to, you know, just do what's commanded of you. All right, you know, uh, uh, you know, follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Love your neighbor as yourself. All right, so on and so forth. It's a very simple uh, thing. All right, verse 2. For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. All right, and those are the ones that... um. That the Lord's gonna uh, 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 show His wisdom to, He that that's where wisdom's gonna uh, uh, dwell in. Those that uh that don't tempt the Lord, the ones that trust Him with all their heart, and you know, in the ones that are really trying. Okay, for four thoughts separate from the Most High, and in His power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. And uh, you know, we we've seen that time, and time again. Okay, those that have wicked thoughts. The Most High separates Himself uh, from them, okay? That oil begins to leak. And the next thing you know, uh, you know, you have uh, remixes to, to, uh, to all these uh, uh, scriptures, man, okay? You, you see the Lord uh, uh, take that oil away, okay? And you can see what it, uh, you see what it does to a person, okay? Once the once Yahweh Bashim Shai takes that sp uh, spirit off of an uh, individual, it, it's downhill from the uh, from there, man. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna keep reading. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Okay, and that and, and that's why uh, wisdom uh, doesn't dwell in a lot of these guys is because they have a malicious soul. Okay. They're, they're, they're really, you know, out there for, uh, uh, they preach for, uh, uh, what is it, uh, contention and strife. They want to do things, uh, uh, you know, for vainglory. They want to do things for um, filthy lucre's sake, okay? They're doing it all for the wrong reasons. And that's why the, uh, the you know, wisdom is not uh, dwelling with them, okay? Verse 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will uh, flee uh, deceit, 
and removed from thoughts that are without understanding, it will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. For wisdom is a loving spirit, it will not acquit a, blasph a blasphemer of his words, for the Most High is witness of his reins, and a true beholder of his heart, and a hearer of his tongue. It says, for wisdom is a loving spirit. Okay? And what is love? It's the uh, 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 following the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? Because really these uh, law, statutes, and commandments, they uh, improve your life. Because everything is beneficial to you. Okay? But you got guys out there that they, they, they get offended by certain laws. Okay? And you have certain laws that deal with a uh, uh, reproof, correction. It deals with uh, uh, taking a low. It deals with uh, 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 following orders. Being subject uh, uh, to uh, to those who are above uh, above you. See, see, you got individuals out there that don't like those laws, though. Okay, yeah, they're down with. You know, not eating the uh, the uh, pork. They're down with not, you know, eating the catfish. But when, the, you know, like I said, those other laws come into place, now it's an issue. Now it's an issue. Okay? Hey, but the Lord uh, sees everything. Alright? Verse 7. For the Spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and that which containeth all things hath uh, knowledge of the voice. Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid. Neither shall uh, vengeance, when it punisheth, bypass, uh, yeah, pass by him. Okay? And what does it say in the scriptures? Uh, in the book of Luke, uh, it says that, um, basically, um, uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing it, that, that uh, the hidden things, that they, they shall be made manifest. You know, the, the darkness shall come uh, uh, to light. Okay? That's why these guys get exposed, all right? Because at some point, you know uh, that um, that unrighteousness uh, it gets brought out, okay? See, the thing is, these guys they don't take the reproof or correction though, okay? They uh, harden they uh, hardeneth their neck, okay? They become more wicked once they they, they get called out on the uh, the the uh unrighteousness that that they're uh that they're doing okay but guess what when judgment comes they're not going to have uh, uh the lord protecting them okay and they're going to get a harsh judgment verse 9 for inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly and the sound of his words shall come unto the lord with the manifest manifestation of his wicked deeds okay an inquisition uh, basically means um, it, like an investigation, okay. So uh, for inqu uh, so basically an investigation shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly. Okay, the Lord, uh, uh, uh it has the uh, the sp uh, you know the angels, um, come out you know, and, and investigate. Okay, you know they 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 they, they sit there. Uh, the angels, you know, watch you know the good and the bad that we do. Okay, except they, you know these uh ungodly men, they get exposed and the spirit uh, uh deals with them. Okay, then eventually they're gonna get that uh that uh, uh that judgment. Okay, it may not be now, it may not be you know a, a, a month from now, but at some point the Lord's gonna uh. Uh, cast down that judgment, okay? Whatever it may be. For the ears of jealousy heareth all things, and the noise of murmuring is not hid. Therefore, beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable, and refrain your tongue from backbiting. For there is no word so secret that shall go for naught, and the mouth that uh, believeth slayeth the soul. So how it says there, man, uh, uh, beware of murmuring. It's unprofitable. Refrain your tongue from backbiting. And you got a lot of guys out there that come into this truth and they uh um you know they murmur against their uh their their, their uh the apostles the heads of their camps you know uh, other brothers that you know speak down upon them 
they, they, then, then you know, some of them they backbite when they get reproved, instead of just you know, uh, um, you know, whole, you know, just taking it like a man, saying salakia, and just keep it moving. Okay, yeah, there's times where you might be in a situation where you might be getting you know uh, chastised and you didn't do anything wrong. Hey, but what it tells us in the scriptures to take the low road. Okay, hey, Yahweh Bashim Shai is gonna handle everything. If if that uh, a particular brother did you wrong, hey, the Lord is gonna uh, um, uh, justify you in some way, f uh, 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 form or fashion, whatever it may be. Okay, but it's not for you to uh, to uh, justify yourself. It tells you that in the, uh, uh, the book of Sirach not to justify yourself. You just gotta, uh, you know, just let the Lord uh, do everything. Okay. And the Lord might be just testing you just to see uh, if you're going to hold your integrity or not. It says, In the mouth that believeth, slayeth the soul. And I believe, let me double check that word. It uh, it means slandereth. Okay? Slayeth the soul. Because if you're slandering, you know, uh, that, that's going to uh, hurt your own soul, man. Alright? That's going to uh, get you in a, a, a more of a, a, a jam, man, so to speak. It says, "Seek not death in the error of your life, and pull not uh, and pull not upon yourselves destruction with the works of your hands." All right, so you're not supposed to, you know, basically uh, give up. All right, you're not supposed to sit there and, and um, you know, uh, try to kill yourself. All right, you know, and, and, you know, spiritually too, man. You know, you know, physically, you know, I was uh, speaking physically, but even spiritually, don't don't be sitting there, you know, doing things. That can get that can destroy your soul, man. Okay. D d uh, f uh, try to uh, do everything in righteousness to the best of your ability. For the Most High made not death, neither hath He pleasure in the destruction of the living. For He created all things that they might have their being, and the generations of the world were he uh, healthful, and there is no poison of destruction in them, nor the kingdom of death upon earth. For righteousness is immortal. Okay. Exactly. If you're following righteousness, you're going to be immortal. Okay? It's that, uh, that sin that causes the death. Because what does it say in the book of Romans? The wages of sin are death. Okay? That's why when we get this new covenant, it's going to be such a beautiful thing. Because we're going to have all the law, statutes, and commandments instilled in us. So we're never going to go off. So we're going to be immortal. Okay? Verse 16, but ungodly men with their works and words called it to them. For when they thought uh, to have it their friend, they consumed to naught and made a covenant with it because they are worthy to take part with it. Alright. And uh, 